What's up, guys? I'm Damon Zell, and today they just released the information for the next month's marquee characters. That's right. The month of December is Thorns Company Month, and we are talking about our next legendary character to come to Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. So, let's talk about it. Alright, so. Our next legendary is none other than Thorin Oakenshield. That's right, the main character for uh, Thorin's company. That was the company that got together for The Hobbit. And yes, we are getting one of my characters, one of my favorite characters from the books, Bilbo Baggins, will be coming in with that same tag. So, let's take a look here and see exactly what they're giving us. And beautiful artwork, by the way. Uh, so here we are, we have Thorin Oakenshield. And it states here, he is the son of Thorain II, the grandson of King Thoror, the king of Durin's folk. There is no uh, finer dwarf leader or fighter than Thorin Oakenshield. Having been at the Battle of Azunul Bazar, I know I butchered that, which resulted in exile and then leading the expedition to reclaim the Lonely Mountain from the terrible dragon Smog, forever the rightful king under the mountain. Yes, I am excited about it. And if you guys remember, he was my second choice. He wasn't who I predicted was going to be the next legendary. I predicted it was going to be Gollum. Uh, I thought that would have been a really great um, legendary. Uh, you know, having one light, one shadow. But you know, Thorin was our number two choice for coming that uh, coming. And I did say that you know Bilbo Baggins should have been a legendary, but he's coming as a regular character as well. So let's look down here. We also have another of Thorin's company, and there's none other than Bomber. Uh, it says here, he woke up suddenly and sat up scratching his head. He could not make out where he was at all, nor why he felt so hungry, for he had forgotten everything that had happened since he started their journey that May morning long ago. The last thing that he remembered was the party at the Hobbit's house, and that they had a great difficulty in making him believe their tale of the many adventures that they had since. And we all remember the movie in the book, Do Not Crack the Plates, because that's what Bilbo hates. Yes, I know. I'm that nerd. Uh, and as we see here, it says, as a member of Thorne's company, we first meet Bombar as he tumbled into Bag End. Uh, while not a descendant of Durin's line, like Thorin and others, he was descended from the dwarves of Moria and was no less as determined and capable as his companions. A renowned deep sweeper throughout the adventure, Bombar nonetheless continued on later, surviving the Battle of the Five Armies and made Erebor his home. So yes, he was one of the few of the third of the original thirteen that did survive that big battle. And of course, we have Bilbo Baggins, the character I fell in love with when I first started reading the books long ago, when I first saw the first animated version of The Hobbit, which was my favorite movie when I was a kid. Yes, I know I'm showing my age. Let's, let's glaze over that and move forward. But it says here, once a content hobbit with no thoughts of adventure or dwarves, Bilbo Baggins is one of the most memorable heroes of Middle-earth and one of the most important in its history. Bilbo was swept up by Gandalf the Grey and the company of Thorin Oakenshield as their contract burglar and companion. His actions along the way forever make him a beloved friend of the dwarves. So, we have Bilbo, we have Bombar, and we have our next legendary Thorin Oakenshield coming to the game. Now, of course, they did not give us the requirements for unlocking Thorin. They said those will be coming with his kit on Monday. And yes, we will be getting the kits uh, of everyone you know following starting Monday, which begs the question and the theory crafting now of who is going to unlock Thorin. Now, the company, sorry, the um, uh, prominent theory currently right now is that Thorin's company will unlock Thorin, and Thorin's company currently uh, consists of, in the game, um, Bilfer, Killy, and Philly. But, seeing as they are going to release Thorin's kit first, does that mean he's going to have the first marquee up? And if he has the first marquee up, and obviously if he comes before Bilbo and Bombar, it cannot be Thorin's company tag as the unlock requirements. Now, 
most gacha games will run that way, right? Uh, when they bring out a new character, it's usually three characters that you can farm in-game, usually two from a node, one from a store, two marquee characters that you have to buy, uh, and th that will be able to unlock the legendary. That's how it's always been in Marvel Strike Force, that's how it's been in most of the other gacha games that I have played, but they could give us a, a solid here. They could just be dwarves, right? We saw on that, uh, that counter, let me bring it up here in-game, not so much the calendar, but what I meant by is the uh, store that changes each month. That's right here, the weekly supply store. And as we see over the last month or so, uh, we have been seeing dwarves. We have Fro in there, we have Philly, we have Killy. And because if Thorn comes out first, that could mean it's just going to be dwarves. Now, if it is just dwarves, if you've been farming them already, you're going to be in a sweet spot for unlocking. Uh, currently, right now, as all legendaries, you need to unlock them with five stars. I am almost sitting there. I need to bring some up. I need to bring... Uh, let's see, I got Gimli set. I got Philly set. I need to bring Killy up. Uh, either Lord Balin up, which is ideal if they have some... If he moves to a farming node. Um, oh, no, I got him at five stars. So I, got, so I have to bring uh, Philly up. And I need, uh, sorry, I have to bring Killy up and probably Biffer uh, or Fro. I mean, I'm farming both of them. So whichever one gets there first, I should be set to get them at a five-star unlock uh, the first week they pop open. Um, but yeah, that's the news we got right now. I'm, in, I'm intrigued because the legendary characters we have, well, we only have one. We have Elrond. And he is hugely overpowered and is a staple for every chapter in the raid as well as arena meta he is just his kit is overwhelming right uh with the revive with the slows uh with the stamina I like everything about him is is fantastic and i'm expecting the same from thorin i'm expecting a massive um game changer for his kit so Stay tuned on for Monday where we're going to look at his kit, we're going to explore his kit, and we'll find out exactly when his event is going to be as well as the requirements for that. So until I talk to you guys again, have a great week, have a great weekend, adventure safe, and good luck to you and your fellowship.